Hi everyone, this is Queen of Light 1111 um, coming back to you with a new type of reading today. Uh, what I've decided to do was showcase and just give you a quick sneak peek of my Akashic Records reading that uh, I just am starting to offer now on my website, queenoflight1111.com. Um, it's a 30-minute check-in um, on the contract, the Twin Flame contract. And so this is going to be, I'm going to go through this a little bit quickly, um, but know that when you book this session with me, we will go into this much deeper, um, just around some additional meanings, etc. But this is a specific reading on your Twin Flame contract. The bottom row is about the foundation of the contract as it stands today. So where are the twins? as far as their contract is concerned today. What is the foundation? What are they working on? What is currently happening in the connection today is this second row around this contract. And then um, just the overall uh, future energies. And then I have the bottom of the deck, okay? And we are using the um, Akashic Tarot by Sharon Ann Klingler and Sandra Ann Taylor. I love this deck and it's very, very deep. I have studied it, uh, built a relationship with this deck, and um, and now ready to offer this as a reading. So if you're interested, please go to my website to book. Okay, so this is a specific uh, couple that I ch channeled, and um, so this might not resonate with everybody, but again, this is just a sneak peek for all of you on the Akashic Records. So... The foundation of this couple's contract is we have four cards, up in the air, the king of roses, the divine physician, and archangel Raphael. Okay, that is the foundation of the contract. So this is where they are today. Um, where What we have here is with the up in the air card, you know, right now in this connection, um, there's just too much unknown at this time. And this could be related to, you know, either twin, maybe not um, having made a decision yet on which way they would like to move um, in the relationship. And so right now with this card, it is asking you to trust in the connection and let go of urgency um, and the, you know, the urgent need to know things right away and get some distance at this time so things can naturally occur. Events can naturally occur and come to pass so that, you know, an outcome or um, the energy can be much clearer, okay? And then that is paired then with the King of Roses. And the King of Roses is the King of Love. And this is you know, a man in this case, right? It's the king who is balanced and well-rounded. This is also an energy that is union is at hand. And this is also, you know, an energy where this person, this masculine is ready for the role of, you know, husband or father. And this is now opening up into his energy so that he can now start to create a happy home and family life, okay? And I'll put this all together at the end. So I'm just reading the cards as they flew out. Then the next card we have is the Divine Physician. The Divine Physician is about uh, moving on to a time of great, great healing on so many different levels. And this, for this particular situation, this is about you know, the um, the feminine being a healer, a helper to others and offering her light and sharing that with her community. So um, so this is this is interesting in that, you know, at this time, what these two are very focused on is she's very focused on, you know, her community, sharing her light with other people in her community, helping heal others, which is then helping her heal herself. And he is very focused on being emotionally balanced and emotionally mature. And he's ready to be a mature individual and um, open up to being a husband and a father, okay? So uh, I like that masculine and feminine energy. But then we also have Archangel Raphael as the last card. And Archangel Raphael, he's known to be the healer, okay? He's also known for... Um, 
you know, um, being there for blessed journeys. He's also known as the miracle worker. He's also helpful in creating love and family. So this really goes with this, you know, King of Roses. And then, as I mentioned, he's also a healer. So it goes with, you know, the divine physician card. So he's really working with both of the twins on um, this foundational element of the contract. And so um, this card's indicating that, you know, blessings will abound. Um, reunions can occur. Healing can occur. Renewal can occur. So this, this angel is helping out with that. But in the meantime, what people need to work on uh, for this foundation is really just letting go of the need to understand everything, know everything right now. So you see this couple, again, the feminine and the masculine looking, you know, into the looking at the horizon here, looking at this, you know, hot air balloon flying and they're just looking for answers. So the time right now is just to trust, trust in the connection, trust in Archangel Raphael and trust in the universe and let things unfold as it may, as it should, because he's working on his emotional maturity. She's working on her healing and healing others. And Archangel Raphael is with them. So that is the foundation for this contract. That is where they are today in this cycle for their contract. So where are they currently? It makes a lot of sense with these cards that flew out. So seven of keys, the ascent, they are ascending. Six of forces, the waterfall. And the seven of, of roses, the journey. So they are on a journey. They are ascending. And this waterfall is very po powerful. It's about knowledge. It's about deep knowledge. So just getting into this, the ascent the ascent is about great effort and determination being required to assure success. So, you know, to be this king of roses, to be this divine physician, it takes great, great determination and a great deal amount, amount of effort for people to achieve that type of balance and success in this world. So this couple is very much focused on their ascent. The, also, the other thing I want to mention is we have a lot of sevens here. So seven of keys, seven of roses, the outcome is also a seven. So if seven of, is a significant number, which it is for this couple, it's their life path. So this is seven is very, very critical to this message. So seven of keys, the ascent. So not only is it their life path, which means that they're going to work very, very hard at learning and working at this connection and in life in general and on their spiritual journey. So they are um, on their ascent at this time, current state, they are ascending. Uh, and this is really due to their own hard work. It's not because of luck. It's not because of external influences. This is a, because they have chosen to do the work. They wanted to do the work. This is a contract where they decided, especially having two life path numbers of seven, they decided that they were going to come into this life together and really work hard at their ascension. So that's what the ascent is. Then with the six of forces, this is about having incredible personal power. It takes incredible personal power to go through a life path of seven and ascend as they have agreed to. So the six of forces, the waterfall is about that personal power. It's about, you know, um, really shaping the situation, honoring the situation. And it's a time of deep thought and reflection. It's about a time of deep emotions. And it's also a time of expanding their psychic energy. So that really goes nicely into this journey, which is that they're on this twin flame journey. So, you know, so not only are they working hard at their ascension, they are expanding their minds it's taking them great incredible personal power to be on this uh, to go through this ascension and be on this journey so with the journey card this is you know about this journey taking the twins to new places to new opportunities to new you know places where they've ascended into better and to to greater understanding, not better understanding, greater understanding of what it is that they want to do, what it is that they require. The caution here with the seven of roses is, you know, it takes this this ascension, this journey, this 
you know, f personal power. All of this is required because with the seven of roses, the, the guidance is it's going and, it, and also the advice is it's the it's going to require leaving a safe harbor, right? So if you see here, there's a bunch of boats, people are leaving the harbor to take off on their journey. So, you know, it can be natural for people to want to, you know, stay in a safe place, remain in a safe harbor. But what this is telling the twins today is that, you know, this journey, this ascension, you know, this relationship is going to take um, and it's going to require you to leave your safe harbor, right? Leave it behind because this is not the time to stay in a safe harbor. It is time to take the risk. It is time to explore. So this personal power that is required for this ascension to be on this journey, uh, they have the personal power. They want to ascend. They are ascending, but um, take the risk, take the leap. It is important to make sure you don't stay in a safe zone. It is about taking risks and moving forward. So why? Why? Because the outcome is another number seven. This is a faded meaning meeting. Sorry. So this is a fated meeting. This was um, and is a very, very important relationship. This is the twin flame journey. This, this was decided in your Akashic records and especially given it's a life path seven and this is a number seven card that this is a uh, connection that they agreed to uh, come to this earth and ha and live this experience and have this faded meeting with each other at the divine time. So here's the clock, right? So uh, this is about Again, this is a very important relationship and they are being lifted to a much higher experience through their relationship, right? So higher experience, the ascension. So uh, with this, this is about karma from the past, right? They have brought this, um, they've brought their karma into this life together and they are going to balance it out here. This is about, you know, coming together. This is about ascending together. This is about connecting. This is about honoring the course of this relationship. And if they honor this course of the relationship, meaning, you know, taking the risk, staying in personal power, continuing to ascend, then this will probably be one of the highest relationships that they will ever know. So this is a very powerful, Powerful and promising relationship. Okay, so um, this was a faded meeting. This this is uh, they are they were here. This is in their akashic records for them to come together and meet in this lifetime and build something together and um, you know grow, obtain personal power. He was here to you know, balance his emotions, become an emotionally mature person and open his heart to a home and a family. She is here to be a divine healer, to heal people, to help her community and heal herself in the process. So this is part of, you know, their, their karmic tie, their lessons. They're here to really work with each other so that he can be emotionally mature and have this, um, you know, family life, and she is here truly to help others. Um, and Archangel Raphael is helping them through this process. The bottom of the deck is the three of forces, the bird's nest. So this is for the overall energy, right? So the overall energy is, you know, you know, he's to emotionally mature and open his heart to be a, a father and a husband. She's healing. They are ascending. This was faded. Then the three of forces is about building this nest again. The description of this card is about this relationship being faded. You know, children may be forthcoming. They are going to expand. So not only expand as humans on this earth, expand their spirituality, expand their experiences, but expand their 3D world, meaning, you know, their family lives too. So this three of forces is about two people coming together to create something and have expansion. So that that is the quick peek at an Akashic Records reading. Uh, I hope that that made sense. Maybe it resonated for some of you. I know it was pretty specific, but I wanted to get this sneak peek out there so that you would understand, you know, what um, an Akashic Record reading is. And this is a very, very deep reading when we get into it 30 minutes. 
Um, and, you know, it will indicate if there's a specific life path. You know, here in the triangle, we have seven, 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 right? In a trinity, the three of forces, trinity as the overall energy. We have a divine masculine and a divine feminine pair that shows up in a contract with them looking together at the horizon here, which is still they need to let go and uh, trust in their connection and then take those risks so that they can honor the course of their relationship and create and expand. So if you're interested in booking your Akashic Records reading with me, please reach out to me at queenoflight1111.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.